snowblower. Yeah. So this is a uh, Polen Pro 1130. Uh, it's a very nice snowblower. Runs very well. Um, the engine does, at least. It's got some nice tires on it. It's a nice machine. A little too much plastic for my liking, but you know. So, the problem with this thing is, is a guy, he ran into something. Uh, he screwed up one of the auger rakes. And uh, so he replaced the auger rake. And uh, it was all it was all moving around in there, and uh, so I didn't know what was wrong with it. So brought it to me, and so I took this thing apart. I was looking at the, the little plastic bearing things. Actually, these these are really stupid. Yeah, these are bearings. Yeah, they go over the auger rakes like that. Yeah. They don't go on a shaft or anything, they go on the auger rakes, and they're plastic. Yep, as I said, a little too much plastic for my liking. So, here's a worm gear. And, uh, as you can see, yeah. For the last couple years, major storms like Irene and Sandy yep. seriously disrupted our lives. That's on top of all the other blizzards and random so, at National Grid, we yeah. understand these situations make you feel helpless and frustrated. If the power goes I'm out, assuming what happened was, power. was, That's why this was, was there like that. And then you got your <laughs> drive gear, your drive shaft here with your little gear. I'm assuming it was like that. Okay, and when he hit something, this got jerked forward and just sheared off those teeth. So... That's what I'm thinking happened. So, hoping I can just order this. I looked it up, and it's part number 24 for this machine. So, yeah, here's a little numbers here. So, yeah, that's it. Engine runs really good, though. Um, cause yeah, I went to test it out, and it's just like clunk, clunk, clunk. So, yeah, really clean. There's almost no rust. There was some rust on this shaft here. I'll show you what happened with this thing. Uh, I cleaned this up with the wire wheel here, cause there's some rust on it. So yeah. Um, what happened with this was a shear pin. Uh, I went to go take the auger rake off, and this was an old auger rake. Old, new. And uh, the shear pin was seized in there. Banging on it with a hammer, you know. Would not budge. So then I tried turning the other end of it with a ratchet. Head snaps right off. So I drilled this thing out. Uh, not the best drilling, but this hole's only that big, so it's not that big of a deal. So, I might have to replace this whole thing anyway, so. Because, I'm hoping I don't have to buy this as an assembly. Because that's like $130. So, yeah. That's everything for this. Very nice blower though, I gotta say. A lot of money right here. It snowed today. Uh... Here's a John Deere, and uh, thank you for all your suggestions. Um, you all seem to think it was a seat sensor, so I'm going to go order one of those. Oh, that's like $9 with $17 shipping, which is completely ridiculous. I plowed out here. Um, so, plowed the driveway, and uh, the road, the town is not doing the roads. Today they are not doing the roads, I guess there's not enough snow for them. There's probably inch, inch and a half of snow, and I guess they don't want to do it. All they're doing is spreading salt. So this is the only street plowed. I plowed the whole street, you know. And, uh, yeah. No one else seemed to, they didn't seem to want to do it, so. Yeah. Alright, so that's everything. Um, I'll show you back here. Back here there's actually a real bearing. I'll show you quickly. Real bearing right there, and these skid shoes are 
almost done. Not quite done. So, since this guy replaced an auger rake, I'm pretty sure he can replace good shoes. So, yeah. So that's everything. Um, yeah.